Estelle, are you in there? Joshua? Dinner's ready. Just to let you know, we'll be having roasted basil chicken and onion soup gratin. That sounds so good. I'll, I'll come down later, so why don't you two go on ahead and eat? Alright. Well, make sure you come down before your food gets cold. Hey, Shara's with us. The Wheel of Fortune card again. Something really is going on. I just can't see what it is. Hmm? Where's Estelle? She said to go ahead and eat without her. She didn't seem to have an appetite. I see. She took the news a lot better than I thought she would. Also, hello everybody, it's Everalt Level 4 for another episode of Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky brought to you by MuchGames.ca. In the last episode, we completed the prologue. And, uh... Yeah, our... F we, we met, uh... Turns out Josette was a Sky Pirate, which I saw coming. Um, but also, our father went missing. Uh, in a... Airship that just disappeared. And, yeah, things are not looking good. She took the news a lot better than I thought she would. It's not surprising she doesn't want to come out of her room, seeing as how close she was with her father. I agree. What do you think about all this, Shara? Is it an accident or an incident? To be honest, I couldn't say either way. Your dad is a top-class bracer when it comes to crisis management. He's the best. Whichever it is, your father hap if your father happens to be there, it'll be resolved. But the fact is, an airliner along with your father has gone missing. In other words, what you're trying to say is that things shouldn't have ha things that shouldn't have happened happened, right? Don't lose heart of me now. You need to be a stout wall of support and bear Estelle up. I'll get to work tomorrow and see what I can find out. Man, it sure smells good down here. I can't stand it any longer. What? Estelle, are you okay? I'm so hungry, I thought I was gonna pass out! Oh, this looks so good! Bon appetit! Aren't you two having any? This is great, the basil flavor really comes out when you roast it. You sure know how to cook, Joshua. Well, thanks. Come on, Shara, don't just sit there too. Do you want to drink some of my dad's brandy from his secret stash? Pretty sure there's a bottle of Steinrose that's about 20 years old in there. Did you say Steinrose? And a 20 year old too? Shara, what do you think you're doing? Uh, uh, sorry, Estelle, I'm gonna have to pass this time. Oh, Shara. And you are a mood. By the way, what were you doing up in your room? You didn't come down even after Joshua called you for supper. Huh? Oh, right, I was just looking for some extra underwear. I was having a bit of trouble finding one of my favorites because it was stuffed in the back of one of the drawers. Underwear? Oh, and I set the gear for traveling. I mean, who knows how long we'll be gone, so I figure as long as we're prepared, we'll have nothing to worry about. Ah? Uh, so what you're saying is you intend to head to Bose to find your father? Well, duh, that's a no-brainer. Well, I can't imagine anything bad happening to him despite his horrible luck. Waiting around just doesn't suit me, so I'm gonna check things out for myself. <laughs> you really are something else. Whether it's your positive attitude or thick skin, I can't... Oh, I skipped that, sorry. Why, well, you're so rude, Joshua! But you are coming along too, right? Of course. However, it looks like all airliner flights have been cancelled until the army finishes their search. It seems like the only way to Bose is on foot. Walk to Bose, huh? Wonder how long that's gonna take. For a bracer on foot, if they hurry, they can make it there in about half a day. But if that's the route you're taking, uh, that makes things easy. I think I'll tag along as well. Yay! Really? You'll come with us? But aren't you busy with a bunch of other jobs? Hey, I trained in your father, right? Do you honestly think I'd sit here when something could have happened to the person I owe so much to? I'm gonna talk to Ina and have her pass my jobs at the guild to another member. Shara. I really appreciate this, Shara. You really shouldn't be thanking me. I just can't leave a job as big as this up to a bunch of newbies. <laughs> Hate to say it, but you're probably right. Oh well, since Shara's along for the ride now, I do feel a bit more confident. We appreciate you coming with us. <laughs> Myself as well. Anyway, let's make sure I drop by the guild tomorrow morning before we leave. I'll need to explain the situation to Ina. You're what? <laughs> Chapter 1. Disappearance of the Lind. 
I understand the situation now. To be frank though, with Sherazard taking off after Cassius, I'm gonna be real short-handed. But since this involves him directly, please don't worry about anything. What is that sound outside? I really appreciate this, Ina. Make good use of the ridge while we're gone. What the heck? Is there a street cleaner going? There is! It's raining outside and they got a street cleaner going on! Why? Why in the rain? Okay, whatever. Make good use of Ridge while we're gone. He should be able to deal with at least three times his normal workload. Oh no, poor man. Don't you think that's a bit harsh? Don't worry, if things get too hectic, I'll ask for help from the Grand Soul Branch. By the way, Sherizard, can I get a minute? I'd like to talk to you about the job you're going to do. Oh, sure, no problem. Estelle, Joshua, could I have you two wait upstairs? I'll be done in a minute. Understood? Um, Shara, if we're going to be waiting, would you mind if we did out front to the clock tower? I'd like to say hi to someone. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, then let's meet up in front of the clock tower. As soon as I'm done here, I'll head over there myself. Got it. Come on, Joshua. Uh, sure. Septing Calendar 1075, direct in partnership with the Rebellion Royal Family, Septing Church in Roland City. Septing Calendar 1192, destroyed during the Hundred Days War when Roland was bombarded by the Arabonian Imperial Army. 1197, rebuilt with cooperation of the citizens of Roland. Every time I see this clock tower, I always think, they sure did a superb job restoring it after the war. I can sure feel the spirit of Roland's people from this. Estelle? Um, uh, Joshua? What do you think about going up with me and waiting until Shara shows up? You mean the clock tower? Sure, I don't mind. Okay, come on. This morning air is so refreshing. Hey, look, Joshua, you can see the house from here. You're right, I can see the roof. But... Do you want to tell me what's been going on ever since, uh, since you've always avoided coming up here? I was under the impression that you didn't like this place. Mm. I like this place, but I just can't casually come up here. Because this is the place where my mom died. What? Ten years ago, during the war? When the Imperial Army surrendered Roland, they bombarded the symbol of the city, the clock tower, to try to get the citizens to surrender. This was at the time Dad was fighting in the Royal Army. I went to see who he was fighting against, so I climbed up the clock tower. And when the bombardment started, I, I couldn't get away. When I came to, I hardly had a scratch on me. My mother had saved me. I was wrapped tightly in her arms, shielded from the rubble. As I cried, she sang my favorite lullaby. But when they finally dug us free... After the war ended and this place had been rebuilt, I avoided coming here for the most part, except for that one time that someone made us come up here like five or six episodes ago. It's not because I have painful memories of this place, though. It's just when I come here, Part of me wants so much to draw on her strength. Plus, I felt that I can't be strong like her if I'm always trying to rely on her. Still, But today is okay, right? Relying on her just this once. Asking her to bring Dad home safely. Asking her to protect him. Of course it is. Don't worry. Dad's safe for sure. Your mother's protecting him. There's no doubt in my mind that he's safe. And if he happens to be in a bit of trouble, then you can come to his rescue. Just like your mother did for you, you can do the same for your dad. Yes, let's die for him. Don't forget, I'm here to help you too. Joshua. I know I can't completely understand everything you've been through, but I can stay here by your side, as I am now. If you need a shoulder to cry on, you always got mine. So... <laughs> huh? <laughs> Joshua, you're trying too hard. You shouldn't say things like that so lightly. What do you mean? Estelle, you're ruining the moment. 
If I were any other girl, I would have totally misinterpreted your intentions just now. You are seriously the type who's going to have problems with romantic relationships in the future. I are, I'm already starting to get worried. Well, excuse me for trying to be nice. Why do you have to feel like that when someone is generally, genuinely worried about you? Thanks for cheering me up, Joshua. I feel a lot better now. I guess as long as I get some kind of thanks, it was worth looking like a complete fool. But you are unbelievable. <laughs> Don't be so mad. I'm really thankful, believe it or not. How about we get down from here, huh? I'm sure Shadow's waiting for us. Eh, you're probably right. Uh. Mom, I finally realized why I wanted to become a bracer. So I could become strong and protect others just like you. So please watch and see. I won't fail to bring Dad home safe again. Oh boy. Sure, you're gonna have to stop lying to yourself at some point. Oh, the two you had such a cute scene going on up there. Why my cheeks feel even feel a bit hot just thinking about it. What's that supposed to mean? You were spying on us? <laughs> Give me some credit, will you? I just happened to see you when I looked up to check the time. I sure wish I had an orbital camera to get a shot of that view. Come on. What are you trying to say, Shara? That's called family bonding, plain and simple. It's kind of like your habit of hugging everyone after you had a third bottle of wine. Let's not get into that. What's at the side? <laughs> you really don't know how to take a joke, do you? Ah, uh, whatever. Did you say hi to Lena while you were up there? Yeah. I even asked for her to watch over Dad. Then, I guess it looks like you're all set. You know, Lena's protection is equal to that of the goddess herself. Your dad's safety is pretty much guaranteed. And I think you may be giving her a little too much credit. Now that you mention it, you met Estelle's mother before, right, Sharon? Yeah, when I was a child. I was still in a troop at, a to at the time. A troop? Yeah, a troop in the traveling circus. Sharon was a dancer. Of course she was. Although it was a long time ago, we first met when she came to roll it with the circus. Twelve years ago, to be exact, I was eleven and Estelle was four. You're twenty-three? God, you look like you're thirty. I mean, I'm sorry, that not that that's a bad thing. But wow. Okay, anyway. <laughs> because of that chance encounter when I became a bracer, I trained under your father. I didn't know that. And maybe I'll tell you about it sometime when I get the chance. Are you ready to head out for Bose? The airliner flight's cancelled. We'll have to wake our way to Bose old-fashioned way by foot. First, we'll need to make our way to the Vert Bridge checkpoint, which sits on the border of the Bose region. The Vert Bridge is located at the west end of the Milch Main Road. Yeah, we've been there. Looks like we're all set, so let's go! Yay! And by all set, it still actually means... I don't care. It still actually means, let's go check jobs. Uh, letter carrier, looking for someone to deliver. That's convenience. Roland Chapel, sure. Sorry about that. Okay. Uh, just that's it. Uh, right. We were doing stuff. Uh, let's go see if we can do anything for Shara's ornaments. Uh, any new slots we can buy? We can buy. We can buy that for you. Cool. We can buy your time quartz only. All quartz. What do you have? How about you, Shara? Okay, so let's... One, two, three. You have one, two, three. Let's open one more for Estelle. That's a weird sound. Uh, and we can still buy some of these. EP cut. Arts EP cost minus 10%. That's actually kind of nice. I'm gonna buy one. And I uh, remember last time we also got uh, let's see what this adds in. Oh, that would add in a whole load of stuff. But it, oh, it's times three. Wow. Uh, what does Eagle Eye do? Can see enemies from a distance? I don't know what that means. Uh, but that's not going to give us anything interesting. That would give us yeah, I think I'm actually going to give this... No. Mm. What does Shara have? Shara has... 
Dex plus five, shield, attack. <sighs> I'm not sure what each character, if each character has a a specific uh, affinity. I don't think so, right? So, yeah, let's give, let's give Shara poison, because so I think that would be good for her, and I'm going to give you eagle eye, because, uh, sorry about that, yeah, I'm giving you all of the other stuff, I probably should spread that around, but you're pretty good as you are, Joshua is really the one that needs the most help with these things. Uh, because you have three sealed slots, but I, th I think you're fine. Can I not remove that? No, I, I, th I think we're good as this. Okay, uh, let's also work on our equipment. Uh, let's see, Pile Rod is good, Kunai is fine. Okay, we're actually good. I mean, there's there's uh, accessories and stuff, but yeah. Uh, this kid has, has the same hair as Josette. He's evil, I've decided. Uh, right, Chapel. Um, let's get that letter. Is it you? Good morning. Yeah, we're going over to the bows. Is that so? In that case, should I ask a favor? Can I ask a favor? I just want to send Father Holstein a letter, but the airlines are grounded. How about it? Can I get you to deliver this letter when you're out there? Yeah, sure. Shouldn't be a problem since the letter's not that big to begin with. I really appreciate this. Here you are. Father Divine's letter. Cool. It looks like all we have to do is give it... Yeah. Yes, the chap's on the east side of Bow City. Traveling around other regions, broadening your knowledge is food for the mind. I pray that the goddess will guide you on your journey. Thank you. Um, if I really wanted to, I could just grind a little bit for um, Sepith or whatever, uh, but I'm not going to do that. Let's just go to the fort. I'll meet you there, unless anything interesting happens. Oh, I see what the eagle eye does. It shows them on the map. That's cool. Anyway, here's the Vert Bridge. Hello there. Are you headed for Bose? You yeah, are. How'd you know we, were just, we weren't just visiting again? Well, a number of people like yourself have been passing through lately. Exponentially more than usual. That's uh, Is that because flights have been suspended over the airspace over Bose? In the airspace over Bose? That's exactly what happened. You wouldn't believe how busy this place is because of it. Well, the Royal Army is responsible for all restricted flights, so you're really not in a position to complain. Yeah, I guess you're right about that. Oh, another thing, traffic through this checkpoint is also being regulated. If you want to go through here, you have to get a pass from the Chief Warrant Officer next door. Okay. Well, we helped him out. He owes, he owes us a favor. Hey, bud. Oh, well, if it isn't Estelle, a Joshua too. Hello, Mr. Ashton. And this is Sherzard, if I remember correctly, right? Good afternoon, sir. We'd like to cross over the Bose region. We're wondering about getting a pass. Let me guess, it's something to do with Lind, the Lind, doesn't it? Yeah. Estelle explains that Cassius was aboard the missing airliner. Goodness, Cassius was aboard? This is, a, this is major. I'll issue you a pass right away. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Is all right if you issue us a pass just like this? What are you talking about? I know you kids by face. As a member of the Royal Army, I should do my best to cooperate with the Bracer Guild. Oh, but one other thing. Huh? Be careful if you have any errands at the Hocking Gate north, in he uh, north of here. You might want to hide your identities as Bracer's there. What do you mean? I'm sorry, but I can't say any more anything any more about the matter. If you do intend to investigate the incident, please do so with discretion. I pray to Ideos for Cash's safe return. Huh. Wonder what's up with that. We got a pass. 
Well, that was quick. Uh, how about I open the gate for you? Soldier opened the gate by remote control. Is that just, like, talk for we didn't want to animate a person manually opening the gate? But, alright, you're clear to go on through. Once you cross over, you won't be able to come back unless you get a pass on the other side. Be aware of that before you cross. Got it. Alright, well... It's the point of no return. Hello. Private Lacos. The Eisen Road, which runs north of the East Bose Highway, is blockaded right now. For those heads to the north border, they have to go to Bose first and then wait for until the road reopens. Huh. See anything else interesting over here? No? Hello. What do we have here this time? Bracers? Traveling the road a bit uh, on foot is a bit of a hassle, isn't it? Be careful out there. Don't mind if I do. Boom. So where does this lead out? What's the point of this? What's the point of this little scenic spot, huh? Okay, whatever. I'm glad there's a little save point, or a rest point. Okay, so now we're on the Bose Highway. I assume there's gonna be new enemies here. Yeah, there's one right over here. What the heck are you? A tentacled monster that wafts through the air, divides after being wounded. Oh, yuck! Mad Roper. Kill you before you divide. Good. The cake? I like cake. Cake is cool. Uh, it is really nice to see the enemies on the map. Oh, new enemy also. A uh, mushroom snake, woodland inhabiting. A monster inhabiting woodlands hunts with poisonous fangs. May call for backup. Weak to water. the battle. No? Okay. What the heck is that? A halo mole, a monster inhabiting hard bedrock. Its massive claws boast of incredible strength. It's weak to water and fire. Uh, yeah, we can be okay. It's so nice having three party members now. It makes such a difference. Uh, what do we got over here? North Nebel Valley. That's great. We're not going there. I'm just gonna avoid some of the monsters for now, I think, unless they specifically try to attack me. Like, I don't see any treasure chests or anything out here, so it doesn't seem like there's a point. Huh? Let's head this way. Hi. <laughs> Grant, well if it isn't Sherazard, how have you been? Fine, I haven't seen you in a while either. What are you up to? As you can see, I'm doing an escort job. I'm sure that you learned about all the airliners being grounded after the Lind incident, right? Because of that, we have to move all this cargo to the Royal City by ground transport. I see, well your efforts are appreciated. So, how about yourself? What are you doing with these youngsters? Don't tell me you're looking into the incident. 
That was the plan. Why? Do you know something we should be aware of? Well, I think it would be best if you spoke with Lugrin about it at the Bose branch. Anyway, I gotta get going. Catch you later. Huh. First Mr. Ashton, now him. Everyone keeps hinting at something, but no one will just come out and say it. I wonder what's up. Well, there must be a good reason for it, and we'll probably find our answers at the Bows branch. Yeah, everyone's going to Bows. Uh, Niall was going there, The Josette was going there. Agreed. If we do as he suggests and ask Lugrin about it, he may, we may just get a clue as to what's going on. Anyway, let's get moving. Apparently, according to the voice outside my door, the thing of tinfoil goes in the closet. There's a lot of enemies here. I feel like this is just enemies I should fight on my own time. It's good for leveling up, but like right now, uh, we're actually getting close to wanting to end off the episode, so I don't want to. But uh, we definitely need, need to grind a little bit of Sabbath for stuff, since we should be fighting most of these enemies. It's nice that they more or less stay off the main road, though. Hi. Hello. The heck are you? This is Wisdom. Alright! A floating monster from the Bose region. Extremely dangerous. Uses powerful arts. I have a feeling we're gonna die. Uh... The wisdom is not, is running away. Uh, I guess let's just use some of our arts. Wisdom is preparing to use arts. Wonderful. Be a little weak to fire, it said. A little weak to fire. Okay. It's gonna get a critical here. Oh no, Shadow Spear, I've heard about this. That's bad. Please don't KO me. Thank you for not one hit KOing me at least. But dang. <laughs> that did a lot of damage! Uh. Ah, uh, yeah, that wasn't a good idea. Oh, don't get close! Lesson learned! Use fire bolts. We'll get that. We'll get both of these before his next turn. Oh boy. Okay, well, he gives you a nice amount of crystals all around, but yeah, that seems like it's an enemy that is a little rarer. It's good to fight them anyway, I guess. This is a very long road. No wonder why they said it would take half a day to get there. Uh, West Bows, East Burt Bridge. Hocking Gate. Uh, so yeah, they said don't go to Hocking Gate right now. Where's this? It's just a side area. Okay. Oh, the road's changed. Bose, North Block. Oh, Bose is a big city. Okay. We finally made it here. This is the commercial city of Bose, which sits in the heart of the Bose region. <laughs> its inhabitants are called bozos. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wow, this definitely looks like a city. Of the five major cities in the world, this one comes next after the royal city. Compared to Roland, the buildings are all made of stone and seem a lot bigger. Does anyone have any idea what that huge building over the is over there? That's the Bose Market. It's an indoor marketplace made up of various shops. Food, clothing, sundry goods, furniture, books, and so on. You could pretty much buy any uh, everything here with the exception of weapons and ornaments. And it's not surprising that they call this place a commercial city. I really wish this trip could have been for shopping. Um, maybe some other time. Let's first stop by the guild and find out what's going on regarding the incident. Oh, alright. Just so you know, the Bracer Guild is just right over there. Right over where? Uh, we'll find that out in the next episode. Thank you all very much for watching. This has been Sephiroth Level 4 with uh, Trails in the Sky for Much Games. Next time, we'll explore the market city of Bose. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye.